Uh, we want to show details of the disease, and I always love our, our 3D image wall. So if, Doctor, you can go there for us, and what we're going to do is we're going to show details of the disease. We have a 3D image of what is, what I believe, Doctor, part of our respiratory system called the alveoli. Did I say that correctly? You're absolutely right. Okay. Tell us why they're so important and what happens, Doctor. So, so first of all, um, here's a picture of a normal um, lung for someone. Uh, so the air comes from the outside, from the top of the picture, and it goes downstairs following this tubing system that we call the bronchi, and then it goes into the alveoli. So the alveoli is essentially where the air needs to be in order to get oxygen uh, mixed with blood, and that's what we need in order to breathe, essentially. That's the whole purpose of the lungs. Now, when you have pulmonary fibrosis, what happened to you is that this area, in particular the area where the alveoli are, becomes a little um, stiffy, becomes less volume that it is there becomes restricted. It's like having um, grapes there and the grapes are getting dry. Essentially, that's the way to put it. So if you think about this being um, a, a group of grapes on here, it, it's just becoming dry and dry and, and shrinking and shrinking. And that's the way pulmonary fibrosis needs to be understood for people um, in our audience today. And you took the words out of my mouth because I was saying, gosh, they look like little grapes inside our lungs. Now. I have a question. When these become dry and dry, then obviously the breathing becomes uh, more difficult for the individual? Absolutely. And that's what we call, um, obviously, all the problems that present and the signs and symptoms that we're going to review today that are typical from patients with pulmonary fibrosis, exactly, oh. the inability to breathe normally.